So, hello everyone. Well, this is class number five, and today we are going to work on part one of reading and use of English. We are going to be working with the same book we already worked on, that is Improve Your Skills for First Certificate. And I have it here, so we're going to go right now. Uh, wait. Yeah. There you go. Well, here, very good. Okay, we are going to start working on exercise six. The um, idea of in, um, part one is to test your knowledge on phrasal verbs, collocation, fixed phrases, of course, dependent prepositions, but not to put the preposition to put the other word, and um, several kinds of chunks. Remember we talked about chunks the other day, or we always talk about chunks, that, is, that are these words that generally go together. All right? So the first one is um, to work with phrases that may have and I don't know, maybe not a literal meaning, right? Like, for example, break the ice is not referring to actually break the ice. You are going to try and explain with your own words what is the meaning of all the phrases that are underlined, all right? Hello, Asu. Okay. Hi. How are you doing, my darling? Hi, you. I'm fine. I, I can listen to you like you are inside a box. I don't know. Maybe, okay, maybe it's just a headphone. But uh, could you listen to the task? Yes. Very good. Two minutes and we check, right? Yes. Have you just uh, arrived from school? Uh, no, uh, I have just arrived from my uh, grandma's house. Ah, okay. So you didn't go to school? Oh, yes, but I uh, le left school at uh, 4.50, uh, like oh. Fridays. Ah, very good. That's really nice. Yeah. Okay, every Friday you leave at 5.30, sorry, 4.30. 4.50. Wow, but yeah, again, yeah, feels really good. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's go with you. Well, can we check? Yes, I haven't finished, but yes. Okay, I think we can figure out, right? 
Am I recording? Yes, I'm recording. Okay. Well, a good way to break the ice with someone is to walk up to them and introduce yourself. What is to break the ice? Yes. Like start a conversation for the first time. Very Be good. the first person to talk or to Very do something. Good. Exactly. Start the conversation for the first time. Very good. Excellent. Okay. She was initially against the idea, but she changed her tune later. Change her mind, like the idea. Yeah. Absolutely. Change her mind. Excellent. He took the job because it was easy money. Make money without a lot of effort. God, big money without a lot of effort or just money without a lot of effort, right? He had to eat his words after the project became a success. It's like be on silent because... I he, yeah, he, I don't know. Apple? I I don't remember the word, but I like um when you like said something and then you um recognize that you are um that is not true. Very good, yes. Or maybe that you were wrong in the first place. Right? Yes. Very good. I think it's not exactly to uh, say it openly, like recognizing, yes, saying I was wrong, but maybe just staying silent, uh, but admitting that you were wrong, right? Or yes. maybe not even admitting, acknowledging, right? Admitting is saying, yes, I was wrong, and acknowledging is, well, I realized, that I was wrong, right? Mm -hmm. Hello, you. I know it's difficult work, but you'll just have to grin and bear it. Grin? This is a grin. No, I don't know, but I think like it's like just do it. Exactly. I don't know. This is this is going to sound very Spanish, but have you heard of the saying? Well, ajo y agua. Yes. What is oh. ajo yagua? Do you really know the meaning ajo y agua? No, my man. It's horrible. Totally I don't know. Yes, it's very informal, but it, it means uh, aguantarse y joderse, right? <laughs> so, es lo que te tocó. That is to grin and bear it. Bear means tolerate. So, that is to grin and, grin and bear it. All right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Hello, Kande. Hi, Miss. How are you doing? Fine, you? I'm fine, great. Good, good to see you. Okay, yes, we, I already, just for Azul also, I already posted the, the extra class uh, of yesterday and together with the videos, right? Okay. Um, yesterday I had a problem with the, with the zoom and it got disconnected and i think that not many people connected later but i don't remember who was connected i remember lara but well never mind what we are doing kande is working on part one in part one we work with phrases yes yeah, that we need to study in english the phrases are uh, many are collocation phrasal verbs idiom yes yeah? In this case, we are working with these phrases that don't have a literal meaning, yeah? And we are trying to figure out and say what is the real meaning, yeah? We are already in number six, but we, we talked about break the ice, which means start a conversation, change her tune, change the, the opinion or change the attitude, easy money, money that we, is not money that we, maybe get effortless, sin esfuerzo, then eat his words, admit that you were wrong, green and bear, 
tolerate it. Yeah? Number seven, I can't do anything about it. My hands are tied. Of course, it's not my hands are tied. So? She or he can't. Can't? Can't. Can't do anything about it. No, yes, yes. <laughs> right? Cannot act on it. It's like yes. when you when um, you say my hands are like yes, when you say my hands are tied, it means that you are not in a position, right, to do anything. This is used, for example, at work environments, right? You you see that maybe you don't like the thing, but you have to just you cannot react. Hello, Kande. Hi, Miss. How are I'm you doing? Fine. I'm fine. Very good for you. Well, we are working on part one, remember? I'm sorry, I'm repeating myself. Perdón que me repita otra vez. But we are working with phrasal verbs, collect, uh, sorry. Ay. Collocations. Oh, my God. Collocations, verb patterns, all these phrases that go together. In this exercise, we are working with phrases that don't have a literal meaning, right? And we are trying to figure out what the real meaning is. We already covered all of them up to seven. We are in seven right now. You can't do your best at something if your heart not in it. This, this you can guess. What is your heart it's in it? Like you have to feel it. Exactly. Yes, all your intention, your passion is in it. All right. But we say in English, your heart in it. Right. And the last one is very easy. We already talked about this a lot in our classes. It's high time. We took a break and headed for the beach. What is high time? It's late or the time has finished. I wouldn't say that because it says it's high time not to take a break and head to the... That is, it's late. It is, it's high time we took a break. We talked about this in the past. When we use the past for a phrase like this. No, I don't know, Miss. Any other person? No, no idea. Okay. Okay. Well, I will explain this very, very shortly. I I hope you remember that, for example, when we use the word uh, I wish, do you remember I wish? Yeah. yeah. Remember that we generally use I wish, the most common one for I wish is when we use I wish plus the past tense to speak about a situation in the present uh, which is not maybe positive for us or which is not what we want. For example, I wish I was famous or I wish I had a bigger house. I wish I had more children, but I don't have more children. I don't have a bigger house. I am not famous. So, even though the situation is in the present, I use simple past to state it. Every time we use I wish, we use simple past most of the time, right? It's time, it's, or it's high time in this case, it's a similar kind of phrase, right? We use it's high time to speak about a situation in the present which we think should change. Right? It's like our es hora de que limpies tu cuarto. Right? We are not happy about this. And we are not saying, in Spanish, we always say the same. Because es hora de irnos o es hora de que limpies tu cuarto. We say exactly the same phrase. But in English, we make a difference. When we are complaining about a situation or when we are criticizing, we use it's high time plus past tense. Like the example here, right? This is a criticism. This is something that we are not happy about. So in this case, if she says it's high time we took a break, maybe 
they were supposed to take a break and the other person didn't want to take a break. So now she or he is complaining. I say, come on, we should have taken a break two hours ago or whatever, right? Or maybe we didn't go on holidays last year. and We have to go now, right? That is uh, when, this is what we use when we remember our criticizing. So we say, for example, I will try to say an example. Uh, that is more. Hi, How, who is it? August. Uh, August, yes. Hi, August. How are you doing? Fine. I'm fine. Here. I'm fine. It's high time, for example, we learned. This is what I'm saying. This It's high time we learned this phrase. Right? So I think, as I explained this several times, I think that you have to sort of remember, right, by now. That is the tone, right? We have the other phrase that is it's time. But when it is about the time, the real time, when it is a thing that is related to the time, we are going to say instead of a subject, we, and a verb in the past, we are going to use two plus infinitive, right? So it's time to go. Or... It's time to, I don't know, uh, open the cinema. Now we are going to open the cinema, right? So this is just chronological, right? It has to do with time. So when it is related to time, I really want you to take notes of this. When it is related to time, we use two plus infinitive. When it is related to a complaint or a criticism, we use it's time or it's high time with past ten. All right? Are you taking notes? Yes. yes. Very good. Okay, so remember, if it is related to time to do something, it's time to go, it's time to take a shower, it's time to start cooking, it's time, you are not complaining. When you say it's high time, past ten, you are complaining. All right. Well, people, I'm going to erase and we're going to go to the other exercise. There we go. Yes. Write a word from the box in each gap to complete the test. Uh, I will, by the way, if you didn't uh, realize by now or if you haven't realized yet, we are working on part one. Yes. You, you already know. Yes. Okay, good. Thanks. No. Miss, uh, can you say the page and the book? Yes, the book is Improve Your Skills for First Certificate. Yes, and the page is, I will tell you right away, give me just a sec. The page is 10. I will, if you want, I can send you the link to the book. Because it is already in the extra class uh, document. Look. Remember, I always prepare a document. No, it's okay. It's to copy the page in the um, uh, paper. I write the answer. Ah, so okay. then, um, oh, no. Well, so it's... then you can know. Okay. But then you can check here. Can they? Look. I will show you this and maybe you find this useful. You go to your Google Drive. There you go. This is the first certificate Google Drive, yeah? That you can enter from the WhatsApp group. You go there. This is the extra material folder. But you go there, yeah? And you have a folder that says extra classes, which are these ones. You enter there. And you have all the classes with the material we are using. So here, this is today's class. You enter here and you have the book, right? Ah, oh, okay, thanks. Everything is like that. Here you have the class, you have the part that we are practicing, the book, and the exercises. Mm -hmm. 
now can you see the the book or what is it that you are looking at yes the book yes the okay book. great Me, sorry, uh, what is odds? It is strange or weird or... In uh, this case, okay. it's part of a bigger phrase. That is very similar to our phrase in Spanish, contra viento y marea. I will tell you later, never mind. In this exercise, you are going to compete with one word, but remember, you need to write down the complete phrase. In all of them, the, the word that you are completing goes together with another. All right? Ah, uh, okay, okay. Or many others. In some cases, the phrase has got three or four words. I will tell you, so don't worry. Are you about to finish? Maybe. What is it that I am doing? Uh, underlining the phrasal words, the phrasal they, verb. No, but they are not phrasal verbs. Just phrases. Phrasal verbs, remember, yeah. is a verb and a preposition. Yes, In this the case, idioms. we have, sorry? You are underlining the idioms. Like exactly, the idioms. or collocation. Right? In most of them are phrases. You are right. Yes.
Okay, this is what you should write down, okay? To have the phrase complete. So, number one is? I'm taking part. Very good, taking part. Taking part. Uh, pride? Yourself. Very good, excellent. Then, um, now we're going to talk up work, uh, sorry, talk about the meanings of the phrases, right? Against all? Odds, right? Yeah, oh, did you say odds? Yeah. There you go, yes, against all odds. This means, remember what I said before, right? Then work around. The clock. You work around the clock. Okay. Should it be a lot of work or little work? If you work Lunch. around the yeah, clock. A lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. You work the whole day, right? That is around the clock. Then fighting a losing. Battle. 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 Very good. This is a lost cause. Right to fight a losing battle is a lost cause. Come to there. Point? I don't know. No, it is senses. When you come to the to your senses, it means you realize. Yeah, how can I say this? Ah uh, yes, they realize it was a uh, hard work or something. That right. Be yes. It's like when you. It's like saying, okay, when you wake up, you will see that this is not correct. Okay. And then uh, yeah. beside the. Point. Okay. So this is not the central part of this. That is beside the point. Right, but like meaning, okay, this is not what we're talking about. In deep water, water, mm -hmm. very good. I hope you can understand all the lines. Um, well, though, is to work miracles, very good. This is to, to have a nice job, right? To do a nice thing. To work yes. miracle. Drop in the ocean. Drop in the ocean. Drop in the ocean. Take. Yeah, pleasure. Of course. And the last one, hit the nail. Very good. Hit the nail on the head. Please. Can yes. you take a screenshot of this, please? Can you care? A screenshot, take, yes. Yes. Of course. Give me just a sec. But... And I'm missing one, right? Uh, you have three people. Okay. Very good. Well, can we go to the meaning? Yes, I will erase this and I will say the phrase, right? So that we can work on the meaning. Okay? Yes, yes. Okay. The first one is take part in. So remember, you have to write take part in. Who can give me an example using take part in? Hey, I don't know I if don't it know. has to be a, like a project or just something like uh, it has to be a project. 
it's right. not, not necessarily a project, but it it should be something. Okay, right? I'm taking part um uh, in my school football team. Okay. In our school football team. Very good. That's okay. Great. So you take part in. You are part of that. All right. What about okay. um pride yourself on doing something? All of you tell me what do you pride yourself on doing? I will tell you one and I will be not very humble. Voy a decir una y no voy a sonar humilde. I pride myself on knowing how to prepare people to sit for first. Okay. So what do you pride yourself on doing? Come on. Something that you are proud of. Something that you do that you are proud of. All of I, you. I pride myself on making friends. Very good. Lovely quality. Atu. Uh, I pride myself on painting. On? Painting. Very good. Excellent. Larita? I pride myself on helping my friends with English. Lovely. Cande. Landulfo. I pride myself on doing mate. Very good. Uh, Making mate. Making, okay. Do you really pride yourself on making mate? Great. You should make some for us. <laughs> now that you we that you do it really well. Okay. Cande Ruscheri. I praise myself on having great in school. Oh, very good for you. Great. Okay, praise number three is against all odds. I said that the meaning of this can be similar to our Spanish, uh, contra viento y marea, right? Meaning all these adverse situations that you may find, but you still do whatever it is that you're doing, right? Against all odds. Okay, who can use it? You can you can say I do this against all odds. I will go with one. In the meantime, you think about an example. Well, I have been present to all my children celebrations and ceremonies and acts at school against all odds, right? So no matter what the situation, I have always been present. All right? Okay, so you go. You have done something or you do something against all odds. I have uh, gone to all my exams against all odds. Very good. Cande? Rochelle, eh, Landulfo. Ah, okay. Eh, I... I don't know. I help people against all odds. Oh, okay. Yes. Very good. Asu? Um... I am a terrorism against Solos. I, I am a Peronism. Peronism. Oh, no, Peronist. Peronist. Very good. Excellent. Against Solos. Very good. Cande uh, I can think, um, I don't know, I be, I don't know, say, present for all my friends against Solos. Very good. Excellent. Agu? Um, I, I listen to my family again a lot. Very good. I listen I'm, I'm to with my, my family. family. Maybe. Yes, Sorry? Uh, maybe I'm with my own, or maybe I'm with my family. Very good. Excellent. I would say I stand by my family. 
I think that is what you want to mean. Yes. Okay, very good. The other one is round the clock. We are not going to have examples with this one. Around the clock, because we all know. But I will just write it. Around the clock. Then, uh, fighting a losing battle. I think it is quite clear. Right? But can anyone give an example? I I know, I know. Okay. We, we teachers are fighting a losing battle against technology. Right? You're right. It's like, come on, we have to surrender and we have to include technology because we are not going to win. All right? Can anyone give me just one more example? Yes. Um, I don't think that vegan people uh, are fighting a losing battle. battle Very sorry. good. Excellent. Very good. Come to your senses. Of course, we have to modify you, uh, sorry, your, depending on how we are using. We can say, come to your senses, come to his senses, come to her senses, right? Okay. What can we say, come to your senses? Uh, Milei has to come to his senses. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really think he can? <laughs> okay, very good. Good example. What about point? Beside, yes, that's beside the point. Something is beside the point. It's like a eh, más allá de algo. Yes, it's or apart from the topic. Uh, apart from. I am just saying this because I don't know, but maybe. And um, whether Barbie movie is for children or not is beside the point because it has a message for all society or for people in general right do you understand yes. okay very good now water in deep water you are in deep water like so what like being drowning Uh, a friend is in deep water uh, with the marks at school. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Very good. What about number 10? What is that is to, is it work miracle? Yeah, no, number nine, work miracle. Do great things. Exactly. Yes, but maybe it's to, to do great things. Maybe in adverse situations. For example, I would say that uh, working on your self-esteem can work miracles when we are studying. Uh, like uh, successful. Yeah. Like obtaining something. Yeah. Can make the difference that is to work make miracles. Okay. It may seem like a drop in the ocean. A drop in the ocean, we're not going to. I think it's very clear. It's like un grano de arena. It's like exactly. It's like a little detail that we think it, it is not meaningful, right? Okay. And a drop in the ocean. Take. What is the other? Take. Pleasure, yeah. pleasure. Take pleasure, which can equal to what? We can summarize with one verb. 
Ah, yes, with the pride yourself. No, yes, it can be pride yourself, but I think that take pleasure has to do with enjoying. So instead of saying take pleasure, you can say you can enjoy. Ah, okay, okay. Right? Very good. And the last one is, this is a complete phrase, hit the nail, which means clavo, on the head. What is the meaning of this? Means in Spanish is like the Easter el clavo. Exactly. Te posartaste. Ah, okay. Exactly. You nailed it. But it, not only just acertar, I think it is. I think it is deeper. Because acertar would be okay. Like you you get it. what you want. No, it's like you got to the real meaning of it or you got to understand it completely. Ah, okay. To the core of something. Yeah, all right? More like the Isla Tecla than Exactly. Very good. Yes. Okay. Okay, people. Do you can you take a screenshot of this? There For you have all the phrases. Okay. Should I erase? Yes. Yes. There you go. Okay, write a word in each cup to complete the text. I'm coming.
Okay, can we check? Yes. Okay, I'm happy to say that the moment of very good of, of, of truth. The, of course, you know that I underline this because what you need to write down in your copybook is the whole phrase, right? The moment of truth, right? The moment of truth, we understand. The town, we have the same phrase in Spanish. Maybe that's why we And then I do know that a word of words, this maybe you can also underline, yes? Because it's a useful phrase, a word of words when people are having arguments, right? Has erupted between members about who's going to do what and so... What? No. No, I don't that? Know. no what, what do we say to continue? This is a very so, useful phrase. So? Then? So on. And so on. Um, okay. So on we use instead of saying etc or we know okay and so on of course i encourage all members to change no suggestion clear what? clear like clear. clear no clear like clear so this means to say your opinion yeah, something like about the strength, I think. Oh. It's a verb, what you need. Yes, yes. It's to speak your mind. Write it down. Um, you, When you speak your mind, say, come on, speak your mind. Say what is your opinion. All right. There's anything wrong with a little disagreement? A time, two time? I don't know. This is a phrase, once in a while. It's from time to time. You have heard this from time to time. I do think, though, that we have to... The verb? No? Do. Keep track? Oh, keep. Yes, you keep better track, but better is ne not necessary. You have to remember keep track to have the control we can't afford to play it by ear of course very good by ear we have the same phrase in spanish when we don't know the formalities of something right you we say that tocas de oído we say it a lot in in spanish right when we don't know the maybe the formal part of something. For example, we can speak about this literal. For example, you play the guitar because you learned on your own and you don't know the notes or the whatever, but you can play by ear. And we also use it more metaphorically when you haven't been trained formally to do something, but you can do it, right? Then little things falling apart in this means instantly, very quickly. Two. What? Two. No, in two time? No, in no time. In the phrase is in no time. So the, he will come in no time. He is coming, right? In no time. And the, the last one, I do say this a lot. The ball? In. Very good. In your court, meaning that you are responsible now. It is your time to act. Yes? The ball is in your court. Excellent. Do you need a screenshot? Mm, I think no, no but. But? Nothing. Okay. No. Very good. Well, this is an actual exercise that is similar to the test, right? So here you have to, have you noticed 
that in all the spaces we have completed, I underlined more things, not just the phrase, not just the word. Well, this is what you need to try and recognize now, how these words are linked to the words that you have to put, that you have to choose, all right? So what you have to do is think, okay, does this combine? Combina esta palabrita con, con cual, right? Can we do it? Yes. Yeah, right. miss. Okay. No, me traes el celuco, sí. Now. Yes, fetch. Are you ready? Finish. Okay. All right. Again, I underlined all the, the things that you need to write down. If you never heard of e-volunteering, also known as virtual volunteering, you might be a bit behind the... I don't know. What? Times. Yes, time. Excellent, time. Okay, the tradition... Of course, this means that your idea is not very modern right? But you need to know yes. about something that is going on right now. 
The traditional idea of volunteering is common knowledge. knowledge. Of course, knowledge. This means that everybody knows. For example, cleaning up around the neighborhood and lending a helping um. hand, of course. Yes, this is literal, dando una mano. What we say in Spanish, right? Uh, to those in need, both very important tasks. E volunteering, though, take volunteering to the next level. Of um, course, level. It involves working for charities through the internet in your spare. Of course, spare means free. You can say free time yes. or you can say spare time. These activities can take a uh, form. Hey. Shape. Very good. Can take shape. Right? This is they can the be same. synonyms. Uh, they can be shape synonyms. And form. Yes, shape and form. Then uh, any kind of online job in which you know the this is difficult. Why? This means that you know the kind of job. Um that you know how it is done. The wires. No, it is the ropes. Ah. Uh -huh. When I write it down. When you know the ropes, you know how to do it. The difference is that you do it free of charge. Of course, free of charge. This means for free. Yes. All right. Very good, people. Yes. Excellent. Can I clear? Yes. Yes, yes. Very good. Oh, what a favorite. My favorite in the world. Well, it's all yours. Remember the, the technique to do this, remember. What you have to do is this. I don't know if you were here or if I said this before, but I think I... You have to read the first sentence, and then in the second sentence, right, or, or in the first sentence, you need to try and see what parts are the same so that you know that you need to read, you don't need to say it again in your step. So I will read both. And I will underline what I already said, yes, in what is written. De la segunda, lo que ya sé que no tengo que volver a poner de la primera. Parece un trabajo de lenguas, pero no es. As the manager is quite strict, we must do everything according to the rules. We must do everything, ya lo tenemos, entonces lo vamos a tachar. No tenemos que poner we must do everything, porque está ahí. We must do everything. And then we have, because the manager is quite strict. So we are also going to do, to underline or to cross out. There. So what is it that we need to find? ¿Qué tengo que encontrar? Tengo que encontrar una frase que contenga la palabrita book que signifique according to the rules. ¿Se entiende? Esto es lo que tengo que hacer siempre. Yes. Lo que ya está no lo uso. Y tengo que encontrar lo que significa, si es más claro ver qué es lo que tengo que encontrar. I need to find a phrase that means according to the rules with the word book. Do you know any phrase that means according to the rules? No? We have a phrase in English that means that is by the book. By the book. We have it in Spanish. We say the manual. Yes, yes. Right? I say the Spanish version because you need to understand this is idiomatic. And we also have our phrases, right? They are not maybe completely logical. Okay. Can you do the rest? Okay. Very good.
Pregúntale, Gaby. People, are you stuck? I think that most of them are really difficult. Yes, I am stuck in number four. I'm trying. Okay. Should we start and I will help you? Yes. Okay. In the first one, we have an, an a saying that means very clean. That is as clean as a whistle. Ah, uh, yeah? yo puse clear as a. Uh, uh, well, but did you write as a? Uh? No, just one as. Okay, be careful with that, all of you. Okay. okay, you must be honest about your mistake. You must. Anyone? I was your. Uh... Yes, yes, I know. Uh, I associate uh, something like related to clean your hands or something. I don't know. So you must clean your hands. I don't know, no. I but that think... is not to be honest. If you clean your hands, you say that you're you didn't do it. Ah, yes. Right? Yeah. So the opposite. <laughs> it's the opposite. Yes. Do you rem do you like Pink, the singer? Yes. Do you remember yes. the song? No. 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 Do you remember this? Maybe you do remember the song because this is a very famous song. The one that says, Just give me a reason. Just another Remember? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, yes. She says the phrase in that song. No. You don't remember? It's come no. clean. <laughs> you must okay. come clean. Right? Meaning you have to admit your mistake. Number four, I always say it. She will have to be punished for being late for work. She will have to. What is this? Face. Very good. Face the music. <laughs> yes, face the music. What is face the music? Like, um, I fight like not fight but yes not fight no not fight what is to face the music it's like confront and accept the situation that yes, is to that, that it's accept I, the consequences that, of yes. your of whatever it is that you did so she will have to face the music right this one, I think you don't know, maybe, but it's jog your memory. Trigger your memory, right? She asked me to... Keep an eye? Of course, keep an eye. You knew this one. 
they had No, I don't know. It says they almost didn't get away from the flood. But then we they add the verb had, so you need to change internally the sentence because you you cannot use get anymore. They had something. When you have when you get away, what is it that you have? You escape, you... Very, yes, exactly. Yes, so they had oh. a narrow escape. Oh. And the last one, the teacher encouraged the students to be ambitious. The students were encouraged aim is a verb here. Yes. Like aiming to the sky or something. Yes, exactly. But we say this with Way one word. Aim high. Aim high. Okay. Yes? Excellent. Yes. These are very valuable. I do hope you have written all them down. Yes. Miss, yes? Uh, this can you send to the group? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. Hello. Okay, sorry. You were telling me to take a screenshot, all right? Yes, please. There you go. There you go. All right. Okay, people, let's do the last exercise, all right? Yes. Yes. Well, you see that you will always have this. You will have this phase zero and you will have it already done. In, the, in this case, it's broaden, broaden your mind. Yes, ampliar tu mente. And then you will start in number one. Okay, can you do it? Oh, we did yes. everything we were supposed to do. I'm so happy.
Hallo. How are we doing? I am out of finish. All right. Me too. In number five, you need a word which means entonces. Finished. Okay, can we go? Yes. yes. Okay, doing voluntary work abroad is a terrific way to broaden your mind, the mind. However, this depends on how you spend or kill. Yes. Ten. Kill yes, that because okay. There is a phrase kill your time. Kill time, yes, but yes. not the not I put the spend, but okay. Spend your time while you are there. Many people profit from benefit. Benefit, <laughs> yes, benefit from doing voluntary work in order in other countries because they experience another culture and way of life. Profit means to obtain money. Ah, it's only for money. Yeah, so benefit would be the one. Yeah, and the general. others don't go with the preposition, so, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, they sometimes forget, though, that they are supposed to be assisting people in need. In, of course, in need, rather than simply going on their personal journey. They often don't get, this is acquainted, complicated. Acquainted. acquainted with the locals. This means they don't get to know the locals or they don't care about knowing them and listen to the concern. Remember here I said, because from the four words that we have here, two, can have the coma, but the meaning is not correct. For after that, thus, 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 okay. thus, entonces, the wide gap between privileged volunteers and poor locals still remains. Organizations which, this is collocation, you make. need. Make. Of, make. Course, oh. of course, make arrangements for people to do voluntary work abroad are beginning to recognize this problem. They are encouraging volunteers to interact with locals and create meaningful bonds. Bonds? bonds? Yes. No. And... Bonds is vinculo. Okay. Last one. Yes. Well, but if it is vinculo yes, to speak about same. people, yeah? This can also help to break 
break down these stereotypical images. Very good. Excellent people. Lovely. Um, did you take notes? Yes. yes. Excellent. Remember that I underlined because that is what you need to remember. All right. Well, people, have a nice time. I will be seeing you on Monday. Okay. All right? We completed yes. the work we were supposed to do. So I'm really happy. Right. Have a nice mm -hmm. time. Okay. See you. Okay. Happy see you. weekend. You too. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.